inside and in the container of the circle, in that place and space of receptivity. For the lion's gate is a time of great abundance. It's available to each and every one of us, even more so than it always is. This is an especially auspicious time, this lion's gate portal that we are in. The Lions Gate actually opened on end of July, on July 28th, and it spans a period of just over a couple of weeks, so it's actually going to be open until Thursday, until August 12th, but again peaking tomorrow on 8th, August 8th, that's the peak of the Lions Gate portal, and so with this portal, it's a time when the lion's gate occurs when the earth aligns with Sirius, which is our brightest star, and with the sun, which is our other brightest star. All three of those align. And it's interesting because they actually also align with the pyramids at Giza in Egypt. And I don't think that happened by accident. It's all a part of our cosmic connections, if you will. And this is a very special and auspicious time to also be open to communication with our entire galaxy, with the entire universe. And so we stay open, we allow ourselves to drop into our intuition and let our intuition be the guide. Let our heart be the guide, tapping into our truth, tapping into our essence. And it's very important during this Lion's Gate, especially tomorrow, if you can, you know, I'm always encouraging you to get outside and especially tomorrow, if you can, make some time to get outside. I know where I am, it's supposed to be raining tomorrow, but I actually really, ever since I was a kid, I've loved going out in the rain. And it's a wonderful way to connect with the earth and also connect with the water element as the rain's coming down on you and breathe the air. And I had a little fire today, so I got a fire element in on it. And um, Make some time tomorrow for some sort of ritual, whatever that ritual might be, and perhaps let your intuition be the guide as to what that ritual will be. There's no set rule about it. Listen to your heart, be in nature, be with nature, and open up to the abundance, the intuition, the downloads, the insights of this Lion's Gate portal, this powerful doorway to change, to transformation, and to new beginnings. And the fact that this Lion's Gate portal lines up with the new moon in Leo, which it pretty much does every year, um, you know, the new moon is also a wonderful time for new beginnings and a great opportunity to set your intention to dream big and to step into new beginnings. So. If you've had something kind of milling around in the back of your mind, something that you want to do or say or start or create, this is a really, really excellent time to give yourself that extra push and do it. So for tonight, alongside that, I drew us an oracle card, as I always do in our circles. I love to start us off with an oracle card. And tonight, I went with the Conscious Spirit deck. I usually pull from the uh, Queen of the Moon oracle, but I thought I'd change it up a little bit tonight. Grab the Conscious Spirit deck, tuning into my intuition, and seems that I was spot on because look what I drew. This is awesome. This is number seven and it's sacred space, sacred space, number seven from the conscious spirit deck. And keeping in mind what I just said about the lion's gate portal, check this out, what this has to say. So it says the affirmation, I find peace, security, and contentment when surrounded by nature's beauty. I find peace, security, and contentment when surrounded by nature's beauty. And it goes on from there. And let me share this with you. 
says, this card is a reminder to strengthen your connection to nature by finding and creating a safe, sacred space for yourself in your garden or in your home where you can surround yourself with the sounds, the images, and the objects of Mother Earth. The sacred feminine's connection to Earth is an important connection that will awaken your intuitive side to the lessons of nature. It will also allow you to become aware of and to understand the loving support that is available to you from Mother Earth and from the elementals. Whether you use your sacred space for meditation, inspiration, ritual, prayer, or simply to de-stress, Sitting calmly in this space will allow you to absorb nature's soothing and healing energies. The more time you spend in this space in quiet contemplation, the more calm and content your life will become. So again, that affirmation, I find peace, security, and contentment when surrounded by nature's beauty. So I highly encourage you to take the time to find yourself a sacred space in nature or as mentioned it could also be in the home and you could bring in some elements of nature you could bring in representation of the four elements the elementals uh, you could bring in some water a little bit of earth you can bring in a feather for the air element and a candle for the fire element but whatever you do create an altar or a space for yourself and really Give yourself the gift of some time of contemplation stillness in the window of this Lionsgate portal.